The Eastern Qing tombs, or Qing Dong Ling as they are known here, are the resting place of the last emperors of China. And we will be working over the, the next four weeks to document the Xiaoling tomb and the Jinling tombs. These are two of the 15 tombs which are um, on this site. The Scottish Ten project is a five-year initiative to laser scan and digitally preserve Scotland's five world heritage sites and also five international heritage sites, working with partners around the world to digitally preserve their, their monuments for future generations. The Scottish Town Project is a collaboration between many different organisations. There's ourselves at Historic Scotland, there's the Digital Design Studio at Glasgow School of Art and there's the SIARC Foundation who are a foundation set up to digitally preserve the world's heritage. We are also working very closely here with the State Administration of Cultural Heritage, the Cultural Relics Department at the Eastern Qing Tombs and the Chinese Academy of Cultural Heritage. So this site uh, fits perfectly with the, the SIARC mission. Our mission is to collect important sites from you know, human history and our, our collective uh, human history. And, and this site is, is more than spectacular in its size and its scope and its detail. Um, so the, and the fact that it's maybe not as well known to the public, you know, most people uh, in terms of China might think of the Great Wall or the Terracotta Warriors. Um, and this is something that deserves to have that same sort of recognition uh, purely for its uh, architectural mastery. I'm Alistair Rawlinson. I'm a visualization specialist for the digital design studio at the Glasgow School of Art. On these projects, I'm involved in planning out and managing the, the on-site work. So it's, it's planning out where we scan, how we're going to adapt our methodology to fit the site, take into account all of the, the different aspects of the site, and then manage people and manage the equipment to allow us to, to effectively capture everything that we can. So we actually use two different terrestrial laser scanning systems on site. One is a time of flight uh, machine, which basically sends out tens of thousands of pulses of laser light every second. The laser light hits an object and bounces back. The machine then records how long that light took to come uh, back to the machine and then therefore determines its distance and, and sets a point at that distance. Uh, at the end of the day, the, the laser uh, starts to kind of create our own uh, laser light show on site. Um, in, the, in the bright sunlight, it's a little overpowering and we tend not to see the light, but definitely in the dusk and into the evening as we typically scan, uh, usually past sunset uh, in order to capture this, this vast area, um, we can start to see the laser light, particularly the time of flight one. It's a nice bright green laser. One of the main aims of the Scottish Ten project is digital preservation. So we want to uh, have an accurate 3D record of these sites. So I'm standing here next to a giant fire urn, which was used to contain water to put out any fires that, that might come up at the, at the tomb behind me. So fire is a real risk to World Heritage sites. And here at the Qing tombs, many of the, the structures have been struck by lightning and have been victim of fire over the years. So it's very important that we have an accurate digital record of these so that they can be used for the rebuilding of any of the, the sites should this happen to them. Once the digital model has been completed, we're hoping that it will be used to raise awareness of the site, also be used as a, a, a planning and management tool for the conservation of the site. We're hoping really that this will, will bring the site to a much larger audience. We can develop interpretation material, put content online and really boost the profile of the site. Over the last few days, we've been joined on site by TopCon China, who have helped us out with the survey using their mobile mapping system. This has been a great addition to the project and a first for the Scottish Ten project. So we've been using both a tricycle mounted system and a car mounted system to tie together the individual structures at the Xiaoling and the Jinling tombs. And we'll later on combine this data from TopCon scanners with our own terrestrial scan data to create one overall point cloud of the entire site.
So the, the vision of the Scottish Ten uh, with the collaboration of the Glasgow School of Arts and SciArc and the Scottish Government, Historic Scotland, uh, is really quite phenomenal. Um, and it's managed to pull together um, so many different people from you know commercial industries and universities and heritage groups and international uh, leaders uh, and really sort of uh, prove that uh, our heritage is something important. Um, it's valuable to each of us uh, locally. And of course, we want to share and promote that in internationally and so we're really able to um, provide sort of a, a goodwill project uh, for the rest of the world.